Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter at Second Swing. Uh, we're outside today. We're going to be hitting some golf balls. It's not super hot and sticky like it has been the past couple times we've been out here. It's a beautiful day. Um, Thomas has five tailor-made driver models today. We've got 2016 M2, 2017 M2, the M4, the M6, and now new for 2020, the Sim Max. Thought we'd test all them up against one another, uh, compare the technology, compare the results. This will be a fun one because TaylorMade is always very popular with their drivers. Thomas, I know you've been fitting customers for all these drivers the last few years, and now the Sim Max for 2020. What do you know about these clubs, and what do you expect in the test today? Yeah, it has been fun to watch the, watch the technology kind of change a little bit all, over time. The look change on the clubs a little bit yeah. over time there. Um, I've always been a great fan of how well the 2016 M2 has kind of stood mm -hmm. up against other kind of models, even as technology has kind of improved over the last few years here as well. So it's going to be fun to see how it compares against the newer models and also the models kind of in, in between here. Um, look, as I mentioned, kind of look a little bit with them all. I've seen the transition from that whiter on the, on the club face to gray to kind of back now to more of a okay, kind of a neutral combination between the two colors. Yeah. So. yeah, they actually did have all white club heads, right? Uh, kind of earlier in the, in the 2010s, transitions to a little bit more of white sort of stripe on that top line. Now they've kind of got more gray on there. So uh, it's interesting how they've developed that. They've transitioned to what they have now with the sim. So uh, this will be a great test and I'm looking forward to watching you hit some drivers because I know that I'm always entertained by watching you hit 315 yard stripes down the middle. <laughs> well, that's how I can get to 315 today. <laughs> um, I'm excited to kind of test these guys and see how they perform. All right, Thomas, so we'll start with the 2016 M2 here. This should be a fun test. TaylorMade's drivers always are, uh, you know, met with a lot of expectations and, and, um, and fandom, really, every single year, so this will be fun. Yeah, every single year they definitely have come out with something really, really solid, really, really hot. Mm -hmm. Goes pretty far here. Beginning with the M2, 2016 M2 was a very, very good driver. Yeah, it still yep. is. It yep. still is very good. still one. is a very good driver. Um, so we've got 10.5 degree head loft on all the drivers, got the graphite design XC6X. This is our all fit golf shaft from our tour van fitting bay, so they're all going to be the same length, same golf shaft, same loft, so there's no bias here. Perfect. Perfect. You know, the numbers are pretty solid, Thomas. Um, I know you didn't love your swing on all of those, but uh, your spin was about 2061. Carry of 285.9, total 312.5 after those four shots, the average there. Pretty solid start there for the M2 there. Yeah, for the first kind of few swings, I felt like I mishit a couple of those for sure, but I just noticed it kind of stayed in the air. It was still kind of knuckling and not spinning very yeah. much. I still actually noticed it still flew against the fence back there. So. That tells me I usually hit it pretty solid out here. So, right, yeah. and that was you know what that driver has been known for for not five years now is that low spin but high forgiveness and high launch kind of combination. So we saw it there. You know, you didn't hit them perfectly on the screws yep. every time, but you, these these numbers and I know how far you hit the ball. This is pretty comparable. It was very comparable. I think my smash was like one four seven on average. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was definitely not perfect, but once again, it's very important that. No one's going to be perfect in this game. Mm -hmm. Playing a little more forgiving golf, golf driver that's going to keep that spin rate down is a good option. And that's Taylor made really, really do well with the 2016 M2 for sure. It was a, it was a solid mm -hmm. driver. So. Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, let's get to the next one then. We got 2017 M2. Okay, perfect. Good one too. Yeah, it was that same spot. Right on the center. Felt a little spinnier, but we'll find out. That's Just a good. little bit. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's yeah. take a look at these numbers here. I mean, you were right about the spin. Increase a little bit, about 200. Yeah, about 200 RPM uh, from the 2016 to the 2017. I feel M2. like the ball flight was a little lower with this too. It just seemed it like was. it was. Yeah, it was. I'll go over to the height here. So your average height with the 2016 M2, 105. This one was 96.8. So a little bit lower ball flight. Um, but your, to your carry distance, 282.6 with this one and 309.6 total distance. So 
uh, actually a decrease of distance there, but you were more efficient with this one as well. So um, a little bit of give and take there, but mm -hmm. again, these are great numbers. And I know how far you hit the ball, this is also very comparable to um, what you have been in all of our videos with drivers, right? Yeah, yeah, very, very comparable. Uh, I definitely feel like, I mean, looking at the club face right here, definitely hit four in a row, kind of smack mm -hmm. right, right, right in the middle there. Um, but it definitely looked like the 2016 M2 would look like it was flying a little higher with not much spin on it. Right. In the day, high launch, low spin is going to be really, really solid. Now, yes. the numbers of this were exceptionally good too. But the 2016 M2, like, kind of keep saying, that was one of, that's one of our favorites from kind of the drivers of the decade, I yep. guess. Um, performed pretty well there as well. Yeah, that's uh, actually a good thing to point out is we had a, our video went up, I think, a few weeks ago. Uh, we highlighted the kind of our favorite five drivers of the past decade. 2016 M2 was one of them because of that combination, low spin, high launch. And the numbers have shown that so far here. You know, if you get that, the higher launch, the lower spin, you're going to get a little more distance. So uh, the expectations and the baseline here is set pretty high for TaylorMade for the rest of these clubs, right? Got some work to do to keep up with those two. <laughs> <laughs> so, Thomas, I think, you know, the M both M2 models, they look pretty similar, I assume, at address. I think you mentioned that they look almost identical. M4 is a little bit different with kind of some more gray versus white. Do you see any uh, other major differences? Yeah, I mean, personally, when I was looking down at the, the white, it seemed pretty shiny. Yeah. It was definitely reflecting, very, very shiny. I think that 2017 M2, I literally just unwrapped. We had a few in, in second swing that we, that we had left over that were new. Um, in mint condition, essentially. So I grabbed that one, and it was so shiny. I was like, this, yeah. this is kind of reflecting into my eyes. I kind of like that dull look a little bit more here, okay. as it's not maybe not quite as shiny. So that gray look, for me, kind of just looks a little bit easy to look at. But, okay. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, pretty similar kind of shape, um, pretty similar alignment aid here yeah. going on. So, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Let's see what the M4 has. M4. For you. All right. Four shots of the M4, Thomas. Um, the numbers are, again, very comparable. You swung a little harder on average with the M4, so that's kind of increased uh, the ball speed a little bit. Um, and your total distance went to 313.3, .3, so actually the highest so far. Same with the carry distance of 286.1. Now, the smash factor was actually the lowest at 146. So I think yep. that's, again, your swing speed a little bit higher. That's probably what drove the extra distance rather than the efficiency of it. And I yep. know that last one, I think you maybe missed a little bit off the heel. Maybe that's attributing to it a little bit, but what did you think of, you know, look and feel for sure, and then also kind of what you saw on the ball flight? Um, so first thing I noticed, kind of comparing the three of them right off the bat, the first, the 2016 M2 felt softer off the face, but it looked hotter when it was flying. <laughs> kind of just weird, I, I don't know. <laughs> the 2017 sounded louder, and then the, uh, uh, so the 2017 M2 sounded yeah. louder. And then the M4 felt more solid off the club face. Okay. Just kind of compare and kind of feel between the three of them there. I think um, we transitioned to the twist face a little bit. I didn't hit these quite as solid. It was a couple of little high toe, a little high heel. Mm -hmm. Twist face has done kind of a good, you know, good job of kind of helping on those off center hits. Yeah. So we still went just a little bit further, even though I didn't quite catch it as solid. I think my smash was one four six. Mm -hmm. Yes, I was swinging probably a little faster at it. Um, again, maybe a little more. Now we're talking about half a mile an hour. Probably kind of mean that much. More, yeah, right? it was. I mean, one mile an hour one, essentially. One mile an hour faster. Over the uh, 2016 yep. M2. So. Okay, so I mean, pretty comparable. Was 286 versus 285. Yeah. Kind of carry, carry 282. So. I mean, you're smashing yeah. all three of them so far. Oh, three of them are good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, very, very solid. Um, forgiving drivers. Um, I feel like my miss hits have still got out there essentially. They, oh, they definitely yeah. have. Yeah. Uh, like even that last one you said was a heel cut and it's, you know, carrying 281 and totaling at 309. So that's, you know, that's twist face too. That, that's the first year of the twist face technology was yep. the 2018 drivers. M4 was the sort of the more forgiving option is kind of what we're testing here. So now let's get into the 2019 model, the M6. Okay. Sounds good. It's going to happen. All right, so Thomas, you got the M6 in your hand. Is there a, a difference in the look at address? 
Uh, absolutely, it's uh, a lot more colorful, that's for sure. Looking, looking down yeah. at it, seeing more blends of colors, the black, the gray, you know, your, your white, mm -hmm. your red in there as well. Definitely looks more colorful looking down at it okay. from, from the top. Um, the top line, kind of where the crown transitions, a little thinner here as well. Okay. So there's not as much kind of going on other than more color, I guess. Okay, yeah. interesting. Yeah. Pretty similar shaped head though. All right, so that was four shots with the M6 driver. And I mean, one thing I noticed right away was the ball flight was a little bit lower, and that could have been due to the contact a couple times, but that did drop the spin to 1787 on average. That's interesting, yeah. Uh, but, you know, that, you know, your, so your carry distance dropped a little bit as well to 279.9, which that's still, uh, you're still smoking it. Uh, yeah. So the total distance was 314.6, which is the longest, again, due to kind of a lower ball flight with less spin, it's gonna roll out a little bit longer. Yep. So, I mean, that was also the most efficient at 1.5. 1.5, interesting. 5 so that yep. was the first 1.50 on average so far. So, I mean, that's, you know, again, the numbers are, are terrific and we're making sort of small improvements to different measurements each time here. Yes, a couple of these are just maybe launching a little higher, spinning less, and maybe a little lower, spinning a little less and rolling out, getting in different ways. But they seem like they were going pretty similar with regards to kind of distance there. Um, I think for me, uh, most forgiving one still felt like kind of that, that M2 2016. This was pretty forgiving as well. This was mm -hmm. kind of up there. I'm looking at the club face here, and I'd say if anything, I slightly hit it just just a tad slightly yeah. towards the heel there. It's not not bad, but it was uh, you know it wasn't my wasn't my best swing, I, I guess I could say. So well, you know, a lot yeah. not a lot of golfers can say they're not their best swing is going 315. You know, I'm just struggling a little bit with a little fade here today. That's just fighting it a little bit. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's golf, hey. though. You're not going to swing perfect every time. Oh, no. So. But that's the nice yep. thing about these drivers is if you don't swing it perfect every time, you can still launch it out there in the fairway. Um, so that's what Taylor has done a great job with. Twist Face has been great the last few years. Now we'll get into the brand new stuff for 2020, the TaylorMade Sim Max. It's perfect. got the Twist Face. It's got everything brand new for, for 2020 as well that they've added in there. So that'll be a fun one to test here. All right. Let's test it. All right, Thomas, you got the TaylorMade Sim Max driver. What does that look like at a dress? And I know one thing we should talk about too and mention again is the, the kind of that shape on the, you know, the bottom of the club, the sole, that inertia generator kind of towards the back. That's kind of the big innovation with the sim drivers this year. So it's supposed to kind of enhance that club head speed um, and then also kind of provide some more ball speed and forgiveness as well. So, but what do you look at and see at a dress there? Well, at a dress, I don't see that inertia generator. I see it looks kind of like the M6. It looks kind of a lot of color going on again. Kind of a little different pattern. There's obviously no red in it anymore. Yeah. It's just kind of the blue, the, the, the gray, and, and the white. So, I mean, I like, the, I like the look of the patterns with the, two, with the last two clubs for sure. Yeah. Um, I know you've mentioned that, that you really like the way the sim drivers look this yeah, year. Yeah, I really do like the way this lid looks. It's, I think it's a good blend between the white, which I thought was kind of just a little bit too shiny in, in, in my yeah. eyes at the time, um, where the gray with the kind of the your M4, M6 that was kind of gray versus white. This is kind of yeah. like a mixture, I guess. It's kind of a blend between it all. Sure. So. Let's see what it's got. All right. So Thomas, the Sim Max uh, was kind of really the best performer in terms of efficiency, right? One five zero almost on every tee, on every shot. Your carry distance really jumped up, two eighty nine point two average. I know you've been chasing two ninety. We had one of them uh, eclipse that mark, and then your total distance was actually the same as the M six at three fourteen point six. So lots to like about the Sim Max, and I know you kind of liked uh, some of the things that you know when you saw when you're hitting the feel look at a dress as well that we talked about. Um, what did you notice in comparison to the ones we've hit? This thing is really forgiving. Yeah. Really forgiving. Um, I, I, I don't know. I feel like it was, I was fighting my swing a, a, a little bit here today. But the fact that I could still 
get this thing to you know, carry 290 when I'm kind of fighting my swing. You know, that's definitely one of my goals. Used to be 280, now I'm trying to <laughs> kind of get 290 if, if, if I can. Uh, maybe one, I'll get to one day I'll get to 300, you never know. <laughs> right. But yeah, I, you know, I definitely would, you know, as, a, as a little guy, I definitely want to try and get it out there. But at the same time, I want to make sure that I can hit it straight there too. Mm -hmm. I think the first three swings I noticed the ball actually drew a little bit more, or at least didn't maybe fade as much yeah. as the as the other models there too. So I feel like it was, it was really solid. As I kind of mentioned, every golf club, same hit location, exact same spot. I was catching it. I mean, minuscule, but just ever so slightly, kind of just in the in the heel, just okay. ever so slightly. Um, which was really interesting. The fact that it was all of them were really nice to be giving. That was that was mm -hmm. important to me. Yeah, I mean, look at your dispersion here. The circles, first of all, they're pretty tight out there, and your the distance consistency with each club is actually pretty remarkable, and you'll see it on the carry distance here. But kind of, you know, as we move forward here, it kind of went a little bit further left, and I know you like to turn the ball over a little bit more and prefer sort of that uh, draw trajectory. Now, we did have some also some wind kind of promoting a fade today. But, yep. um, you know, you got a little bit more left as you kind of got to the newer clubs. So... But I'll let you kind of take a look at all the data here, break down track band stuff, and see as a fitter what you're looking at with these clubs. Okay, let's do that. Okay, Thomas, you've hit four shots charted with, you know, both M2 models, M4, M6, and now the Sim Max. What can you tell us about each one? Uh, so, kind of interesting, um, my club speed was the fastest with the M4. Okay. Um, which is kind of interesting. It was like the, I think it was like the third club that, that, that yeah. we hit here. I got it up to about 112.9, which is a decent amount of speed for me there. But I was kind of ranging from you know 110.7 to 112.9. So give a minus mile or two. It's yeah. when you're hitting that many golf shots with driver, it's just you know pretty pretty consistent across. Yeah. We're testing different models there as well. Um, the one thing I kind of want to kind of touch on there is I did lose a little bit of club speed with the kind of with the. M6 right before you know, jumping back to the Sim Max, and we kind of talked about that inertia generator a little bit there yeah. too. Um, I picked up one mile an hour more after hitting the M6 and then going to the Sim Max in okay. that order. So it did give a, a little bit more club speed kind yeah. of going in, in that in that order essentially there right. too. And that was a lot of driver swings. We yeah. should keep that in mind. You know, that's a lot of driver swings to be ripping in a row there. So uh, to actually gain that, you know, towards the end of the test, so to speak, uh, you know, that, that does say a little bit of something about that inertia generator. Yeah. And the other thing too that I noticed with the Sim Max is jumping from the M6 to the Sim Max was I picked up 10 mile an hour, 10 yards of carry distance, mm -hmm. 279 to 289. So the Sim Max was the highest carry at, at 289. Not saying the M6 wasn't bad at all. It was going right. the exact same distance, 314.6 distance total. I, I mean, I'll take that any any day oh, yeah. as, as a total distance there. It was just gonna get in there a different way. The newer the technology essentially got there, the more the smash factor increased. Could be part of the reason with me, maybe kind of figure it out a little bit there as well. But I, I continually looking at the club face, as I was hitting today, and everything was just ever so slightly kind of on the heel. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's marginal, but just kind of ever so slightly on the heel, which is why, you know, I mean, I'm talking one four six to one yeah. five, so I, I, I'm getting picky. You're but, a perfectionist. Yeah, we I am. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a perfectionist there too. Um, and then ball speed, highest ball speed was with the Sim Max, um, twenty twenty model, very 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 good with regards to um, to. More, more ball speed is going to equal more distance. That's yep. why I got the kind of the highest carry distance. Um, I mean, s s spin rate, I mean, I know these are range balls, but 1,700 to 2,200 across the board with, with spin is optimal, really. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty, pretty, pretty good. Uh, launch with all of them was between kind of 12 and, oh, sorry, 11.1 .1 and 13.2 degrees. So very, very, very yeah. good kind of numbers there. Um, if I'm looking to maybe pick up a little more carry distance as I get, become a perfectionist, yeah. you know, I was hitting a 10.5 degree loft here today. Normally I hit a nine degree driver and I forced myself to hit up on a little bit. And yeah. maybe part of the reason why I just didn't quite hit up on the ball, maybe quite as much there as well. But I mean, I think I'm maxing out right now. I think I'm, yeah. unless I start putting some muscle on like Bryson De <laughs> DeChambeau here, I think, I think this is kind of what I've got here with, with kind of distance. So I'm pretty happy. I'm very, very, very happy. Um, Touching on older technology, we started with the 2016 M2, um, the carry distance 286, it was essentially tied second with carry distance. So we talked about that kind of that high launch, low spin, it actually was the highest launch of all the drivers that we hit, 
with there 2016 M2. So 13.2 with a spin rate of 2061 mm -hmm. for a model that's, right. I mean, yeah, it's five years old now, um, five generations. It's it's still keeping up there. So oh, it's, yeah. it definitely perform really, really well across the board. Yeah, I mean, TaylorMade has been excellent for a long, long time, past 2016, right, in the past, and, and creating drivers, developing drivers, uh, coming up with new innovations to improve that technology. And, you know, you've seen the 2016 M2 is still competing with some of the new stuff today, but we also saw how the 2020 model can be the longest in terms of carry distance, the most efficient uh, for you anyway, for the smash factor. So kind of seeing both the new and the old work well in this test. Yeah, I mean, across the board, there, I mean, all five models, spin rate plus or minus 500 RPMs, and mm -hmm. in, the, in the ideal kind of lo location, there was only one that was below 2000, that was the M6, a little bit low, but it was still getting me out there. It still wasn't a bad, right. bad miss at, at all there as well. Um, well, the other thing I kind of noticed with the Sim Max and the M6, those two I was able to maybe draw just a little bit mm -hmm. more. I don't know if that is because I was also fighting a yeah. little bit. At the first, when I started with the M2, it was staying a little more to the right. Um, looking at the dispersion pattern, the M M2 was the furthest to the right. Yeah. And that could be part of the reason why the carry distance is a little higher, because further to sure. the right, if you get going too far left, it's going to dive out of the sky yeah. a little bit too much there as well. But, I mean, across the board, really excellent numbers. Uh, I'm always happy with my swing in the end. Um, my club path was showing, showing that it was a little negative here today, yeah. but my face to path number was matching up. Yeah. So we might have been just a little bit off with the yeah. alignment, mm -hmm. lining sure. the track man up, up outside there as well. Height, four, four of the five of them were basically 100 feet in the air. Yeah. 100 feet in the air is, is perfect. The only one that was a little lower was the M6 because it didn't yeah. quite carry as far. But yeah. I mean, those numbers are, yeah. are terrific, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I I know we've been testing a lot of drivers, you know, inside and now outside as well. We did the Callaway one a couple of weeks ago. I remember the numbers, and these stack up, you know, very they're very comparable. Uh, and and this is some really good performance. The Callaway one was also exceptional as well. So I, I should mention that too. We got the TaylorMade test today with some of the more forgiving models, so to speak. The last four or five years from TaylorMade, we did test all the Sub Zero Callaway models uh, a few weeks ago on our YouTube channel. You can check that one out as well. Um, so the TaylorMade today with sort of the M2s, the M4, M6, SimMax, and then we'll also be testing uh, soon for you the M1, M3, M5, and the Sim. So that'll be a good one to look forward as well. But great numbers today, Thomas, from the TaylorMade models. It's kind of the more high MOI forgiving ones that they've released the last few years. Uh, again, 2016 M2, terrific uh, five years later, but the SimMax also showing some terrific numbers as the newest model. Yeah, and exactly what you said. I mean, it's important to get fit, come in, get fit, whether that be a new club or even used options. There's some great yep. op used options out there at Second Swing.